The elusive Instagram verification badge. Everyone wants it, but very few people seem to know how to acquire it. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the criteria you need to become verified on Instagram and how to go about actually getting verified. And yes, the elephant in the room, I am not verified on Instagram purely because I don't yet fit the criteria. However, I have helped a lot of clients go through the process, get everything set up for it and become verified on Instagram and through years and years of experience on the platform and a lot of connections. I know how it works. I've seen many bad articles and misleading YouTube videos which are either flat out wrong, totally misleading, or extremely basic to the point where they're literally saying, go to the Instagram app, click the settings icon, request verification, and they talk absolutely nothing about what is actually needed for your application to be submitted because 99.9999% of people who verify themselves or attempt to verify themselves through that app will never have it happen. Also, there are a ton of scams regarding Instagram verification, both on YouTube and outside of YouTube, which I will talk about in this video. The scam on YouTube being there's a bunch of videos where they say to get verified, all you have to do is put in your username and password to the site linked below, and then you become verified. And they show someone using Inspect Element to refresh the screen and then become verified. And obviously, they steal your login details and sell your information. Don't do any of that. But before I jump into the actual details of how to become verified, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. I post two videos like this every single week, all about growing on Instagram, making money online, and social media tips in general. So subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Thanks for that. Now let's dive into the content. So before you can start learning the steps of how to become verified, you need to understand why people actually are verified on Instagram. According to Instagram, coming from their website itself, the purpose of the verification tick is to confirm that the account is the authentic presence of the public figure, celebrity, or global brand it represents. They also then added that currently only Instagram accounts that have a high likelihood of being impersonated have verification badges meaning the purpose of the Instagram verification badge is to show authentic public figures of well-known people and companies to avoid scams and identity theft. Lastly, they say, your account must be the unique presence of the person or business it represents. Only one account per person or business may be verified with exceptions for language specific accounts. We don't verify general interest accounts such as at puppy memes. Now I know this rule gets slightly bent for large companies as often big companies like say Nike or Adidas will have Instagram accounts for each country even though I know they just said language specific but even though New Zealand, Australia, the US, the UK etc all speak English I believe there are different accounts for a lot of global brands for each country with the same language. But straight off the bat, if you are John from down the road who lives a normal life, has a white picket fence out the front and plays golf on the weekend, chances are you won't be able to get verified. Unless of course you start doing something that may put you in the public eye and make you a public figure and therefore you can then go about becoming verified. Such as jumping on TikTok and busting out some renegades. And as mentioned, niche pages cannot be verified on Instagram. I do know that some theme pages are verified on Instagram, but that's usually because they've got to a massive point where they've actually turned into a business, such as Millionaire Underscore Mentor. That is a large company now, and they do a lot of promotions, a lot of brand deals, work with a lot of clients. They've become a business, and that's why they're verified not just because they're a random repost account. You also noticed, I think, that the account Dequan that just got sold for like $85 million or something crazy like that is also verified. Same situation, it is a media company. So that is the first step to getting verified on Instagram. Becoming someone notable or well-known, which in itself is gonna be the hardest part of this process. This could mean you're an athlete, a news reporter, a TikToker, a YouTuber, entrepreneur, large Instagram influencer, etc. Anyone who's really notable or well-known or in the public eye in some way, shape or form. Now the next part, phase two, is becoming notable in the press, which sort of proves that you're a well-known public figure and sort of comes hand in hand with having a large audience. Everyone notable in this world has a lot of press about them, usually. Articles in the media, blog posts about them, podcast appearances, maybe even a few features on the news. 
The idea of this is it shows that you are the real deal, despite the fact that the entire media industry is a whole con that literally anyone can get into if they pay, which really means that it doesn't show that you're the real deal. But I guess it's sort of like a fake appearance, which sort of comes across as notable, but anyone who really knows the industry well knows that it's not. Literally all big media outlets on this planet you can get into without any decent credentials if you're willing to pay for it. And of course, know the right people. Under the notable requirement on the Instagram website, they say, we review accounts that are featured in multiple news sources and we don't consider paid or promotional content as sources for review. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a secret here. They do actually consider paid content for reviews. 90% of the entrepreneurs you see on Instagram that are verified that aren't like well-known like Gary Vee, Tony Robbins, etc., are all mostly paid promotions. You see, they might have a list of 10 people to follow on Instagram and maybe four or five of them are well-known entrepreneurs like Gary Vee, Tony Robbins, maybe Bill Gates, I don't know random big well-known entrepreneurs and then the other half of the list the other five is usually people who no one knows about and they've just paid to get onto that list they might pay a thousand dollars to be one of the top 10 entrepreneurs to follow on instagram in 2020 for business or for lifestyle or something like that then those five to six people who paid to get into that article go and repeat that process with five to six other media outlets which gives them enough press they then send that to instagram and boom they become verified if you don't have any press or understand how press works to be able to get free press you should check out ryan holiday's book trust me i'm lying which basically explains the corruption of the media how it all works and how you can leverage it to your benefit like he's done for many of his clients customers and even himself or you can go for the simple somewhat expensive route of just simply paying for bloggers to write about you and authors to publish you in big magazines now personally this is the one thing holding me back from getting verified i'm too stingy to go out there and spend ten thousand us dollars to get featured in forbes and a bunch of these magazines with these silly lists and then using that to get verified i'd prefer to learn how to do it the legitimate way even though it's going to take way more time i just prefer do it that way and do it real and get real press written about me from my achievements and what i've been able to do now before I move on to step three, if you check out Instagram's website alongside being notable and unique as I've already discussed, your account must also have a bio and profile picture as well as being authentic, meaning it's a real person, business or entity. I just thought I'd add that in there even though that's kind of common sense. Now, by this point in the process, you are a well-known person or business and you have a bunch of press to back that up. How do you actually go about claiming your blue tick? I hate to break it to you, but Instagram just aren't out there day and night searching for people to verify that have been featured in Yahoo or something like that. The chances of you simply waking up one day and getting verified on Instagram with no outside connection is borderline impossible and won't happen unless you've got millions and millions of followers on a large social media platform such as Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or something like that. If you don't have millions of followers on there, you can still get verified, but you have to get submitted to Instagram for it to actually work. If you fall into the category of a professional athlete, a news anchor, a model or influencer signed to a talent agency, or someone else who works in the public eye but is contracted or hired by a large company, chances are there is someone at your organization who has access or direct contact with someone at Instagram who can get you verified because it is of benefit to them to verify their football players in the team. This avoids impersonation of the players from that team, so it is the best interest of the team and Instagram to have some sort of relationship to be able to verify their players. If you aren't signed to a company or organization like that, that's where things can get a bit shady. There are a huge amount of scammers selling Instagram verification on Instagram. Of course, not everyone selling it is a scammer, but a lot of them are because technically it is an illegal good, meaning you're dealing with the black market. 
and this means you have absolutely no protection if you get scammed if you send someone five thousand us dollars for an illegal service and they run away with the money it's not exactly like you can just go down to the police station and ask them to get it back for you you're literally buying something which is illegal you can't buy drugs and if you get scammed go down to the police station and say hey i tried to buy a bunch of this and you know they ran away with my money can you help me out in saying this i do know some people that have paid for verification and it has worked for them but it's definitely not something i would recommend just as a broad blanket statement because there are a lot of scammers there are some people who do it very legitimately and have the connections to do this but a lot of them don't and they're just ripping you off your best bet is to go to some form of network create relationships with people who work in depth in the social media industry befriend writers from large press outlets get to know people who work for large talent agencies that work specifically on social media and eventually you'll bump into someone or create a strong relationship with someone that can verify you or once you've got plenty of press and a good following on social media you can simply go into the app and try it yourself the reason why this doesn't work for most people is they don't have the following and they don't have the high quality press and articles about them so when they go to submit themselves inside of the instagram app it's rejected every single time and so that's pretty much it that is the three-step process to getting verified on instagram It's pretty straightforward but it does take a fair bit of time and a bit of money depending on how you do it firstly become well known for something secondly get a lot of press based around that subject and third get yourself submitted to instagram whether you do it through the app through a company that you may work for or through a friend of a friend obviously there are some people who have managed to sort of skirt around the rules and use some not so great tactics to become verified even if they don't quite fit the criteria and there is a lot of shady stuff that obviously has taken place however this is the route that you go about if you want to do it the right way and not get yourself ripped off because you are playing with fire when you start delving into that black market and if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know the right people you can definitely get burned very easily i hope this helps you out if you are new as always subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video i post twice a week all about instagram growth social media tips and making money online so if you want to see more of that make sure you subscribe stick around and i will see you all next time. Cheers.